The next morning. There we go. I heard you. There we go. Let's go ahead and save because I messed that up. But hello, everybody. What is going on? It is Kibu Shimaki here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Last time. No. Last time we went ahead. I don't like it either. Last time we went ahead and um, hit bronze rank after clearing a few missions here and there. And. Well, getting a few new team members, such as that. But now, we ain't got much else to do except to head on out and see what is going on for the day ahead. Good morning, Isaac. Let's keep up our good work today. Definitely. Isaac, rip time. Huh? Who's that? Caterpie! Oh, if it isn't Caterpie, long time no see. Please, please help my friend. What's wrong? Boost it. I was playing with my friend Metapod, but Metapod got lost in the woods. He's still lost out there. Oh, I see, I see. That does sound bad. <laughs> hey, not you again. Have no fear. We're here to save your chum Metapod. Hey, Academy came to us for help. <laughs> you think you can do this rescue with your amateur level skills? What? It doesn't matter who does the rescue, you see. That guy does the rescue. The guy that does the rescue gets to be the hero. Listen, Caterpie, how about we do this? How about you give the reward to the first, to the team that brings back your chum first? But I, I don't have any money. Oh, don't worry about that, my little friend. I'm sure we can persuade your parents to reward us with interest afterwards. <laughs> oh yeah, you can even join our team. That's an offer you can't refuse. When you join us, Caterpie, we'll let you be the big wheel in Team Meanies. <laughs> That's the deal, Riptide. The first to rescue wins. Come on, move. Let's get something. I don't know. I didn't finish reading that. But, yeah. Whew, don't worry. We'll save your friend first. She's getting her homework. Isaac? Isaac, let's roll and quick. They see that we already have a mission. What should I do? I don't have any money in. I don't want to join those minis. Please, Isaac, help us. Certainly will do. We see that we already have a mission right off the bat. We gotta save Caterpie's um, best friend, Chum Metapod. So then let's store uh, a couple items here and there, of course. Uh, store the gravel rocks, store the blast seed and reviver seeds, as well as the max elixir. Everything else I'm willing to sell. Store it away. Do you want to no, know nothing else? Let's go ahead and let's go and sell. Sell all immediately. Get us a fat 1,000, which is awesome. Let's get a move on to withdrawing those gravel rocks for needed purposes. Take, give me every single one of those gravel rocks, because oh man, they stack up pretty quickly. There we go. So I can take, nope, nothing else. Let's go and let's deposit our money, and let's go save Caterpie's best friend, Metapod. 1,822, very well. There we go. Um, let me check something. No, I don't want to give him anything. I want a summary. Yeah. That's the unfortunate thing. The Totoro didn't get any level ups. I was hoping he would have, but he didn't. So, we got much else to do except we gotta jump straight into Sinister Woods. And, um, well, I'm not taking Magnemite with me, but that should be okay for the most part. This is it. Metapod is lost in these woods. Gengar's crew should have, should have a head start on us. We better hurry. Yeah, we better. Watch out for the Pokemon in here, there are loads of grass types, a few water types, and quite a handful of bug types, so be ready for those, as well as a random swine up for some reason, but yeah. Here we go, uh, Riptide hit level 11, thank goodness, get it as quickly as possible. Go, see what's around, get ourselves a Rossberry, take whatever items you can get, any scrounge up, and definitely take care of any Pokemon along the way. Because you're going to want to take any health and things like that to prepare for upcoming fights. Because as you would guess, we're hunting after Metapod, or Gengar's team, so of course we have to be strong enough to take care of them. Get those Met get that Ornberry, and get a move on. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Go ahead and let's proceed. And there we go. There's so another Metapod, or another um, Sudowoodo. Easy to take care of. Luckily they don't attack until you attack them. So you should be okay for the most part. Let's keep on moving through Sinister Woods though. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. So see that we got ourselves a damn... Oh god, no. Wrong, wrong... I didn't mean to do this. Damn it. Okay, I meant to... 
throw. Oh, I don't have gravel rock set. Of course I don't. Uh, let's use pound because it's pretty good. Damn it! Of course I gotta use, absorb myself and get my health up, huh? Use sweet sand, lower my evasiveness. That's fine. Gonna use absorb again and get rid of that damn hotish. Gosh, I really need to remember to set my items and things like that. There we go. Set. There we go. Let's go down. Let's go up the steps. Let's keep on moving through Sinister Woods. Another set right there. Ooh, new opponents. Let's go ahead and set Pound. Make sure to bring up Rage, just because it would be very useful. There we go. Go on, let's attack. And we took care of that Sunflora pretty quickly. Gave us good experience too, which is very nice. Got ourselves another Rossberry. Why not just take it in case we get burned or something. Go ahead and head over here. Got that, but there's a little item over here. Got ourselves a Petra Berry, or Cherry Berry, my bad. Uh, Petras are pink, cherries are red. There we go. Get the money, and as you can see, we are um, kind of initiated to this new scene. In a sense, we get um, interested in... Um, God, my brain is farting. Um, dark hallways. So we are unable to see what lies before us, but we kind of have to make a guess and work accordingly around it. Um, that's why I do recommend having gravel rocks, because you can take care of enemies that tend to flee, or um, just fire ahead of you in case you feel there's an enemy in the way. Here we have ourselves Cascoon, which somehow dodged the damn gravel rock even though it can't move. Um, but yeah, there is quite a handful of things to watch out for. Let's keep on moving. Now we see we set another piece of the stairs. We are all good in that department. Let's keep on moving. Have ourselves a Shroomish. Go ahead and let's just use Pound. Get rid of it fairly quickly. Up here. Anything. There we go. Using Stun Spore, so now we are paralyzed. We cannot do much. We can't attack or anything, unfortunately. All we can do is kind of move aside and hope that um, Riptide helps us out, which he does, and we take care of the enemy just like that. And we progress deeper into Sinister Woods. There are still some Bloody Buzz in the way. Here we go. Keep on swinging, do what we can. And I keep going for my eyes. <laughs> Jeez. There we go, we swing, do any damage that we can, and get all experience that is available. Boom! Oh, how did that miss? You're right in front of me. God, that's one of the annoying things sometimes, is somehow items miss, even though they're like right in front of you. But it's all dependent on speed, I believe. Which kind of sucks, but <clears throat> what can you do about it? Here we go, another set of stairs, no items around, so at some point I'm wasting time. Here we go, we are now introduced to water, which is... Can get quite annoying if you're not really prepared for it. Um, only water types or uh, Pokemon that are floating, such as flying types or ghost types, can go above the water. Uh, sometimes even Magnemite can actually go over the water because he's technically not touching it. But <clears throat> we're not going to worry about that. We can just go ahead and wail on these Pokemon. I missed again somehow. Swing. Thank you. There we go. Get this item. We're all good. <clears throat> Keep on pushing forward. Anything up here? See a Lediba, not too far. Let's throw the gravel rock twice. There you go, no items, so I'm not gonna worry about you. See, we got the steps right here. And we're inching closer and closer slowly. <clears throat> there you go, we got some Hootoots in the way. Throw some gravel rocks out of the way. There you go, we have ourselves some slack offs. Boom. <clears throat> oh, it's not done yet. I forgot how powerful these Pokemon can get. Um, there we go. Let's get this apple. Definitely gonna want to grab that. Let's eat this up. And then let me give the blue gummy to Riptide. Um, items have Riptide use it. There we go. And he gets PP Checker, which is awesome. There it says a Scyther. It's gonna get quite annoying. Almost done. So let's just keep on throwing gravel rocks and do what we can. Get a move on. Watch out for the damn shroomish. Stunts forward was worried about that. There you go. Thank you, Riptide, for taking care of that Pokemon for me. Let's keep on going. We have a slack off again. Swing. 
swing. There we go. Took care of it without taking too much damage. Got ourselves a white gummy. Just fine, I guess. Let's go ahead and proceed forward. There we go. There we go. Got ourselves some more annoying hoot hoots in the way. <clears throat> So let's swing again. Let's not try to sustain too much damage. Using rage, of course. There we go. Um, so let's throw the grabber off just so that we can preemptively strike that executor. Swing again. That damn executor. Take care of it just like that. Uh, hope that Riptide takes care of the hoodoo. We are good. Let's grab this hornberry. And let's see, no, no steps in here, but there's an item. Ah, excuse me. Let's see, we've made it, and now make sure that you're all set because what comes up will be quite. I'm gonna kick you. <laughs> um, what comes up is gonna be quite annoying <clears throat> because we have ourselves, of course, a little fight, as expected. There we go. Wait for Riptide to break out of that soon, hopefully. Come on. Okay, just go ahead and try to go ahead and try to do anything we can and get rid of that damn hoot hoot. Throw it again, please. Or, uh, do not. Nah, do I not have any more? Seriously? Damn. Okay. Oh, I guess I don't. So, there's much else to do except step forward and be prepared for quite a fight. We've come pretty far into this forest. I wonder if Metapod is scared. Hold it right there! <clears throat> Kiki, you know who's going to get Metapod first? We are! So for you to go ahead, well, we can't let that happen. What? Hey, Gengar? Hey, Gengar, why do you always try to mess with us? Oh, didn't tell you? Our aim is world domination. Caterpie's mama will give us a generous reward. And Caterpie will join us too. That brings us closer to our goal. <laughs> and for that, your lot is in the way. So sorry to say, but your party's over right here and now. Say goodbye, Riptide. And of course, we have ourselves a boss battle where we're not even fully prepared for it, which is unfortunate, but this boss theme is awesome. I personally love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, all we can really do is kind of hope that we can make good work of the enemies coming up. What? I can only use quick attack and try to do some damage. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I wanna... Mm, I wanna have rage only, real quick. Oh my gosh, you said that in a terrible way, dude. Sorry, I'm going, damn. Um, let's go ahead and let's use the Leer, just so that we don't sustain too much damage. I know we might get KO'd though, which is unfortunate, so I'll probably have to leave and then redo this whole fight. But as for the moves, Gengar is armed with Curse, Lick, Spite, and Hypnosis. He's level 15. Uh, Ekans is level 15 as well, armed with Warp, with Wrap, Leer, uh, Bites, and Poison Sting. And then Metacham is level 12, armed with Meditate, Confusion, Detect, and Thunder Punch. So yeah, this fight can get quite annoying, especially with the way that it's all set up already for you. Um, I go, let's just start wailing, I guess. Actually, I gotta heal, if anything. Make sure. I did not even eat an apple. Ah! I'm so dead. Yep, I'm dead. Well, at least you guys see what happens when you fail a mission, just like I did. <sighs> I'll meet you guys back over there in just a bit. Alright. Okay, I'm at the 12th floor. Came back. Almost there. Uh, just wanted to really show this last bit. But there we go. Hopefully, I don't die as easily this time. Okay, I don't want to do that. Um, I luckily got some max elixirs. Oh no! Stop barraging me, please. Uh, ran into a couple, found a couple of max elixirs here and there, so I lucked out with that much at least. Come on. Back away, please. Thank you. Come on. Let's go attack and get rid of the damn thing. God, no, you suck. I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Come on, stop. Die. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I've managed to recruit a pseudo-udo 
and a Lediba on this trip, which might make this bit better. Not sure. We'll find out when I get to the boss fight. Um, but yeah, like I said, I managed to find some max elixirs and hey, another blast seed that at least makes three of them. So that'll make this battle a bit easier. Ah, uh, Mirror's dead. Come on. Ah, uh, never mind then. Mira, you held your own. Nice job. Uh, Mira is supposed to kind of be a reference to Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir. I don't watch that show, but I do know a handful of people that do. So uh, if you get that reference, I'm um, good on you. That's really all I can say. Go, let's just come on, hurry up and get rid of this slack off before it does too much to us. There you go. Anything? No. Another seed. Blast seed, nice. God, I'm like going around the entire map before I even hit the stairs, and it's right here. God damn you, game. Okay. Let's not waste any time. Let's just jump right forward. Let's take on Team Meanies. Let's see what happened. Last time, this is where Gengar's gang appeared. Did they find Metapod already? I wonder. Hold it right there! <laughs> huh? It's Gengar. Why is Gengar's crew coming after us? You be quiet! Right after we beat you last time, we got careless and wiped out too. Haha! <laughs> Don't laugh at me! It would make you so high and mighty. Whatever happens, we're not going to lose to you amateurs. This is it, Riptide. You're going down! And here we go, we have another battle with them once again. IQ, fine. Um, and then tactics. Go after foes. Why not? Same way for um, Mirror, go after foes. And I guess Riptide as well, I can put his as go after it. Well, actually, no, I'm going to leave it as stay here together. Um, as for items, this is what we're looking like. We have four Blast Seeds, so of course I'm just going to start eating them and using them. Boom. Okay. Um, now, let's see what moves are available. Boom, you got that, you got that, and you got that. Um, so we don't really waste too much time. I'm gonna face the Gengar really, because the Gengar is the biggest brunt of the issue. I'm gonna eat a blast seed and just use it immediately. There we go. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna do whatever miniature damage, because I'm not even using any attacks. Let's use another blast seed on Gengar. There we go, took care of him. Pseudo got to level 13. Pseudo is literally just reaping all the experience, as well as Mira. Level 11, just like that. Okay, um, recommended level if you want to actually try and succeed on this on your own without any help. Um, I'd say at least being like level probably 14 or 15 ought to do it. At least if I'm being honest, that's what I think so. Um, okay, now what I can do is I can change these back to... Well, let's go together, I guess. Tactics. Let's go together. And then just use the last Blast Seed on Ekans. Boom. And then trade off Rage for Riptide and then just start attacking. Like that. Go. Boom. And there we go. Just like that. Took care of them. Riptide hit level 13. I learned Water Gun. And we are good. Oh, thank goodness. There we go. Give my experience. And we are all set. Oh, you'll pay for this. Don't you forget it. And they flee just like that. Well, those pests are gone. Let's find Metapod. <gasps> um, excuse me. Um, excuse me. Did you maybe come looking for me? Ha! You must be Metapod. Let's get you home. Caterpie was worried about you. Yay! I was scared, so I kept my shell hardened and waited and waited. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go! Completed our mission. This is great. Welcome back, Metapod. Thank you, Caterpie. And thank you, Riptide and Isaac. But I don't have any money. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, okay? We don't need a reward. It's just great to see that Metapod is back safe and sound. Cool. You're even more cool than I thought. I want to go on rescues when I grow up. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Go for it. I have an idea. Isaac, how about we do something right here? Why don't we make a... Why don't we make a properly impressive rescue team base? That's cool. Rescue team base is cool. I want to work here when I grow up. Me too, me too. <laughs> That's settled then. 
Let's make sure we build ourselves a proper rescue team base. Isaac and Riptide, thank you again. See you around. Take care going home. There we go. We saved Caterpie's friend Metapod. <sighs> well, we ended up working for free, but that had to be done. And we got to show Gengar's team a thing or two, so it's all good. I'm just beat today. Let's keep our good work. Go Let's keep our good work tomorrow. See ya. Well, there we go. We did it. We saved Caterpie's friend. We have our new allies, and um, well, we ain't got much else to do except save. And I'm gonna call it here. Honestly, been recording nonstop these past few episodes. But, we'll record some more tomorrow, keep it going. But that's it for now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all did enjoy, if you did, please show me some love and support. Hit that like button, comment down below if you all enjoyed it, most certainly would love to see. Share with anybody and everybody that, that you think might enjoy, or check out my other playlists. Seriously, played a lot of other games in the past. I know the audio isn't great, but bear with it, enjoy it, please, that'd be deeply appreciated. But that's it, thank you guys for watching, and I will most definitely be seeing all of you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.